Geometry Unit 5C Review Problem 5. I love this problem because it's ambiguous. We are not sure what is really asked. Mrs. Jones bought a solid glass hanging light. The diameter is cut in half. What will be the effect on the surface area of the sphere? Well, regardless of where we go with this problem, if we're looking for the effect, we must first find the surface area of the sphere as the original. We know the surface area of a sphere is equal to 4 pi times the radius squared. So if we have a 15 inch diameter, our radius of course will be 7.5. 7.5 squared is equal to 56.25 times 4 pi. And that is going to be exactly 225 pi. for radius 7.5 inches. Now, does the question mean Ms. Jones gets a second light with a diameter half the size of this one? If that's true, then Ms. Jones has a surface area for the new light of 4 pi. Now, we've cut the diameter in half. That would give a diameter of 7.5 inches. 7.5 inches divided by 2 would give us then a radius of 3.75 inches. And if we square that, we get 14.06. Multiply that times 4, and we get 56.25. So here, if we are comparing, here if we are comparing, the surface area of the large light to the surface area of the smaller light, then we see that the surface area is cut by, we have a 4 to 1 ratio, so the surface area of the small light is one-fourth the effect of cutting the diameter in half, the effect on surface area is to reduce is to reduce it by a factor of 4. The 
small globe has a surface area one-fourth the large globe. See how convenient it was to leave it in, leave it in pi? However, what if that is not what the problem intended? What if what the problem intended was that we should take the globe and literally cut the sphere in half? Then what we have is a surface area of 4 pi times r squared but we would only have half of that. So rather than 225 pi, we would have one half of 225 pi. But we would have to add to that the area of the circle that would form the bottom half of the hemisphere. And to add the area of the circle, we would have, again, pi times the radius squared. So we would have 1 half times 225 pi plus 56.25 times pi again. A half of 225 is 112 and a half pi plus 56.25 pi that would give us a total of 168.75 pi. And we would be comparing that to the original surface area of 225 pi. That would give us a ratio of 225 to 168.75 and that would change the reduction to a third. So it depends what is meant on the problem. We hope we don't have such a problem on EOC. We expect them to be a little more clear. And we can always, on any other problem, go to the teacher and ask what was meant. In either case, we have answers that make sense.